How are you doing, class? Thank you for joining me with another math lesson with Mr. Wilford. Today, we're going to continue to work on Unit 4. We're going to be looking at finding missing angles in quadrilaterals and triangles. So as usual, do me a favor, please join me by looking at the actual packet. Open up 7.5. I'm sorry, 4.5. 4.5. All right, awesome. So as usual, any of the worksheets, take a moment, pause the video if you need to, and fill out the bell work. All right. Fill out the bell work. It's asking you to write two true statements and properties that you know about these particular given shapes. Awesome. I hope you had enough time to do that. Uh, these shapes are familiar. I know you're looking at it like a rectangle or a right triangle. Um, and there are a number of different properties that you can write. Um, for me, I'm going to write two here. Um, and you could have wrote something else. I wouldn't say that what you wrote was incorrect, even if it's not what I wrote. All right. Um, I would say it has four right angles. Okay. And I would say it has uh, two, I know it has opposite sides. I say that opposite sides are the same. Now, when you go to geometry later on in math, they're going to call this, instead of the word the same, they'll call it congruent, which will let you know that they mean the same. They are the same exact measurement. Uh, they equal the same amount. Uh, so that word congruent, I'll put it down here, just to introduce it to you just for later on, but it's good to know. Okay. All right, now, if you looked at the right triangle, uh, maybe you wrote it has one right angle. Right, which we know this has to be a property of a, a right triangle, it has to have one right angle. Okay. Uh, and maybe you put, um, maybe you put three, three sides. Excuse the interruption. Um, you could have put. Teachers, students, faculty. Again, we're asking you to do the surveys. Teachers, you did an awesome job on Tuesday. Thank you so much. On Wednesday, we had about 500 students take the survey, so we're just under a half. Again, if you could let them take it, put it on your Google Classroom, however you want to do it, it's fine with me. Um, students for your Google, your centralized email is your student ID, last name, at centralized. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me just make sure we're all still looking at the same screen. So, what you have been done, which when you looked at the rectangle, you looked at the right triangle, you was able to identify the rectangle has four angles. We talked about it has opposite sides and the same. Right triangle, we talked about has at least one right angle, which it has to have a right angle if it's a right triangle, and three sides, right? You can write, you can write different things here, right? It doesn't have to be exactly like but. I do want to point out, however, because today's lesson is focusing on finding missing angles, I do want to talk about these angle measurements. Um, and this is important for you to write down as well. Morning, all. Okay. Good morning. Uh, the total degree measurement of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. It's a total degree measurement. When I add up all four of these 90 degree angles, I get 360. When I add up all three angles of a right triangle or any triangle for that matter, the degree measurement has to be 180 degrees. And this is an important fact to know, especially as we go into our lesson. You'll see it's repeated when you look at the actual vocabulary. Um, and angles uh, in a quadrilateral add up to 360, angles in a triangle add up to 180. Now, quadrilateral, quad meaning four, four sided shape. Um, it can be a rectangle, it can be a square, it can be a trapezoid it's re recognized as a quadrilateral. They add up to equal 360 when you add up the angle measurements, not the sides, the angle measurements. The triangle, however, any triangle, right triangle, isosceles triangle, scaling triangle, the angle degree measurements on the inside add up to equal 180 degrees, okay? We're gonna use this information, this knowledge to complete the actual assignment today. Um, and I'll start off by modeling for you exactly what's expected of you. So when you look at the modeling, you'll see A, you'll see B, a is represented by a quadrilateral. If you have to write quadrilateral here, sure, go for it. More importantly, I would recommend you write 360 degrees, knowing that the degree measurements needs to add to equal 360. When you look at B, you should know it's a triangle. If you have to write triangle, sure, write triangle. But you should need to know that the degree measurement of these angles add up to equal 180 degrees. 
Okay. That's why in some situations, and I'll explain it in A first example in a little bit. Um, if I take this particular um, quadrilateral, and this quadrilateral has a name, and I'll introduce you to this name. His name is W. T U V. That's the name of this quadrilateral. How do we name uh, shapes? We name them by looking at the actual uh, letters that are on the outside of each angle. And we do it either clockwise or counterclockwise, and that's how we name the actual shape. In this case, I'm going to name it W T U V. I need to find this missing angle. I need to find this question mark. So how do I do that? I know that when I add up all the angle measurements of this particular quadrilateral, it has to equal 360 degrees. So I'm going to add each angle that I do know. I know 100. I know another 100. I know 80. And when I add these up together, I get 280 degrees. Okay. Now I'm missing an angle. So I could take plus question mark has to equal 360. And one of your previous lessons, I mentioned that in the next unit, 4.5, we're gonna be talking about solving something called one-step equations, where instead of question marks there, you'll see a variable. So I could have wrote this instead of question mark, 280 plus, let's say X is equal to 360, okay? We need to figure out what this variable is, what this question mark is. The way we're gonna do that is we are going to subtract the 280, from the 360, okay? okay? And when you did this, you're gonna get X or question mark is equal to 80 degrees. Now, if you wanted to do on your calculator, 360 minus 100, 360 minus 100, 360 minus 80 and see what the remaining number is, it will still give you 80, which is okay. And you'll find that that's the degree measurement that's missing from this quadrilateral, okay? So in this case, our answer for that question mark is 80 degrees. Okay, this little circle that I'm putting at the top is a degree measurement. Um, angles are, are calculated using degrees, not using inches or centimeters, using degree measurements. And we're going to talk about that in another lesson as well. Where we're going to use something called um, protract. Right? Um, I want to point out to you, if I were to, and I'm just going to do this on my paper, you don't have to do it on yours. If I were to cut this quadrilateral in half, right, something like this, and I'm sorry, it's not a straight line, you'll notice you create two triangles, right? Does that make sense? I cut it in half, I make two triangles, if I go from angle to angle on diagonal. So then it makes sense for a triangle to be equal to 180. Now, why is that? Why, why do I say that? Because if a quadrilateral is 360 degrees, if I cut the quadrilateral in half, it makes two triangles. So 360 divided by two would give us 180. Does that kind of make sense? This is, a, this is an important question that you can literally see the concept and try to understand why uh, the degree measures are what they are. Let's look at B. Let me walk you through how to calculate this missing degree measurement of B. Um, they give me 65, they give me 57. Let me just turn this back into a nice straight line. Um, I could do once again, if I wanted to, I could do 180 minus 65. I know 180 is the total degree measurement. So when I subtract it, I'm going to end up getting uh, 5, 115, right? I subtract, I get 115. Now I say, okay, well, let me also subtract 57. When I do that, I end up getting, right? I end up getting 8. Degrees. So I see that this missing angle here is 58 degrees. Once again, for this worksheet, all you have to do is apply the knowledge that you learn in terms of when I look and I know it's a quadrilateral or four sided shape, the total degree measure is 360. When it's a triangle, no matter what triangle it is, the total degree measurement has to add up to equal 180. Using that knowledge, be able to subtract, or you could do add A or B, whichever technique you like, to be able to get up to either 360, 180, or subtract to end up finding that missing angle. Okay, that is it for today's lesson. I hope you, uh, if you have any questions, as usual, you can put them on Google Classroom. I will gladly answer them. But thank you so much for joining me with another math lesson. Have a wonderful day.